Today we're taking you with us on a typical sea day aboard the carnival celebration. Last week we gave you a tour of the ship, but this week we're seeing the dining, entertainment, and activities in action. In case you're new here, Juliana and I used to work for carnival, but these days we're enjoying the guest life. So enough talking, we got a big day ahead of us, and it all starts with our morning coffee. What's kind of interesting about the coffee bar on deck six is that it is so much bigger than other coffee bars I've seen on Carnival, but there's always a line. And it's funny because they actually put a coffee station that has free coffee at the other end. And most days we give up waiting in line and just go get the free stuff. But because it's a sea day, we have the time. I'm curious how long the line will be. We're gonna eat our coffee. Don't talk to me yet. <laughs> a really busy day today, mm -hmm. but we want to make sure we get our steps in. So where are we heading? We're heading to the top of the ship, to the track. Yeah, it's actually our first time doing it, so let's see how busy it is. The top two things that I miss from working on the ship is one, being in a new place every single day, and the second one is this view. Look at that, so beautiful. some breakfast. Our favorite spots to stop for breakfast have been Pig and Anchor, Big Chicken, and Blue Iguana. We're gonna head to Blue Iguana, which is right by the pool. What the what? I know. It's breakfast burritos. I thought we were gonna have like a regular burrito. Okay. Works for you? Works for me. Wow, yeah. Burrito's incredible. Actually, overall, I feel like Carnival's really improved their food since our time we were on board. We were even talking to some of the dancers, and they're telling us that the staff mess downstairs is like huge, new and improved. They even have a pizza station. I wish we had that when we were on board. I was living off of omelets for six months straight. Um, so I will give Carnival that food has gotten a lot better. Now on most sea days on Carnival, you will find a ton of trivia happening. I used to actually be the one to do the trivia uh, when it was my Port Manning week, which basically is when one member of the staff has to stay on board all week. They're not allowed to leave the ship, and whoever that person is is usually in charge of all the trivia, so you get the same person every time. And today's theme is sports trivia. I'm very curious if the questions will be the same. But either way, I know Martina's gonna nail this. And the trivia happens in uh, the back of deck eight. Uh, at a little place called Pig and Anchor, which I love. This place is super inviting and a great place to do trivia. Plus, they have a little bit of breakfast here that you can grab. Um, fun fact, it's actually the same stuff as up in the buffet, so there's a lot less of a line here. Anyway, uh, let's see how this goes. And Juliana forgot to say something very, very, very important. This is the only place where they show sports. <laughs> actually, there is a game that I want to watch today that's gonna be here. You're gonna see me here at 2.30. It's changed since my days doing trivia. I remember... <laughs> Our team, we would give away trophies like crazy. Like if there was like a six-way tie, everybody would get a trophy. These days, I don't think they do trophies anymore. They actually do medals. Um, we used to always have a trophy shortage because we we're giving them out so much. And now they actually make people like battle out to the very end till there's one winner. Um, so definitely a little bit different, but probably for the better saves the company money. Which baseball player topped Babe Ruth's single season home run record? I don't know. I have one minute. I'm gonna put David Ortiz, but I don't know. It's Larry Ferrer. How's it going, Larry? team? Como te fue? Como esta? Uh, it's difficult because they're American sports. <laughs> PGA record for highest score on a par four hole. So basically, this golfer is a very it's bad hard, man. I don't know anything about hockey. You got the soccer one right, I think. Of course. <laughs> Yay! 33. Could give yourself a point. We got that one. Seriously? Not even one? Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Five or more points. Well, that was embarrassing. I have to watch more sports now. <laughs> so right now we're going to the casino to make us feel better. I hope we win something over there.
All right, wish us luck. We're here at Wheel of Fortune. Let's see how we do. Thank you for. came and went but the good news is it's time to eat again and there's a lot of choices of where to eat and I feel like we have some ground to make up because a few days ago we thought that all of those specialty dining restaurants cost cost money but it turns out only some of them do that's right so Chibang that is the Chinese Mexican restaurant and Cucina del Capitano case that is Italian they're free yeah and let me tell you it can be a bit of a war zone to get in there, my god. Apparently a fight broke out yesterday at Chaban over um, people's spots in line. That was it, a show. Yeah, that was, it was literally Chaban, <laughs> bang, one, two, bang. Um, because you have to check in on the app and the app has been having so many problems with crews. Uh, actually, we have to check in in just a couple of minutes, so hopefully we get a spot. Uh, but I think that a lot of people don't know they do lunch, I'm hoping, so um, we'll see. I'm looking forward for those noodles. Yes. <laughs> no fight yet. So we're at this restaurant that is called Chiba, and it's Chinese-Mexican, but it's not a fusion. It's you want Chinese or you want Mexican. <laughs> so over here we're ordering Chinese because soon we're going to be in Mexico and we have opportunity to eat Mexican food in Mexico so we're going for the Chinese and also Juliana loves it she loves Asian food Next thing on the spot is playing bingo because <laughs> We're not afraid to lose even more money. <laughs> <laughs> so main reason we're doing this is because I actually used to be the bingo host for Carnival Splendor. And my have things changed since then. They have got it. A much better system now for charging. We used to have everybody fill out these little papers and it would take hours. People would be lined up like two hours before just to get their cards and it was insane. But now they have like terminals and everything. So thank God they got with the times, but give me flashbacks and still to this day I cannot hear any kind of bingo calling bingo numbers without thinking of all the little things that I would say like before mark your cars before it's too late you know stupid stuff like that but uh, we're just gonna get the cheapest package because we're doing this more so as an activity <laughs> than with any hopes of winning Looking back on it all, maybe I can see what was we lost bingo, but we can win something. No, we cannot, we're not gonna participate in anything over here. We're in the watch store, so. This used to be my kingdom when I work in cruise ships. Yeah, and funny enough, there's like some friends over here that they used to work with me in EFI, the manager over here. So we have Abe and we have Shanab. So they are very good salespeople, like the best, the best. So. We're just saying hi, we're just catching up. So right now we're in Peak and Anchor because I told you guys this is a place where you can watch sports and there is an important game I want to watch. But we're still like 20 minutes before the game. Yeah, so uh, one pro tip for if you're going on a cruise, make sure you bring a deck of cards or download some fun games on your phone. We didn't pay for Wi-Fi this cruise and we've already talked about everything there is to talk about in life. No, but it's good because also we use this cruise ship as a disconnection. Yeah. Disconnect. We wanted to disconnect from internet, from the world, so we're enjoying it. So we're relearning how to play Go Fish. Have you ever played? Okay, well I'm about to teach and uh, we're going to play some cards for a bit and then watch the game. Alright. And now you get to ask me. Do you have any eight? Go Fish. So Go Fish means you have to pull from this deck and go pull a card. No, Go Fish. Do you have any six? Go Fish. And our luck is not good again. What happened? They didn't show the game even though the day before they were showing soccer right now they don't want to show it. luckily there's plenty of other things we can do with our time we're actually gonna head to alchemy bar next mm -hmm. one of the few places that serves non-alcoholic drinks for me and um, we're gonna watch something called time journey mm -hmm. 
I don't know what is that. I don't know either. It's some sort of like light show thing. All right. <laughs> We're gonna find out how it is. We're getting so worried because we said we have to say our luck is so bad that they're not even showing this. <laughs> we're getting worried, but luckily, yes, in four minutes we're gonna see the show. <laughs> day looks like for most people and they won't admit it in their videos <laughs> <laughs> yeah around four o'clock there's nothing to do on the ship so what we do is we are getting ready I just took a shower and we're putting on the TV HD GTV yep and then we're watching our phones what is on the <laughs> dinner menu yep and we like both read it out loud and we're like oh this oh that what are you gonna get what are you gonna get so we're fully prepared when it's time to go to dinner and then we basically like come up with whatever time we think is uh, as early as possible that we can that it's acceptable to go to the dining room that's because you'll get yep I just love food I always look forward to it Actually, it's a good thing that we're going to have an early dinner because afterwards we have a tons of activities tonight. Yeah, the nights tend to be my favorite part of the sea day. There's yeah. always so much to see, so uh, let's head to dinner. Vamos. We've been eating in other restaurants, but tonight we're coming back to the dining room because it's lobster night. A fun fact, the night that I proposed to Juliana, we were in a cruise ship, it was lobster night, and we couldn't eat lobsters because we were so excited. <laughs> Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, we, had, we lost our appetite because of all the adrenaline. <laughs> I didn't, but I have to follow her. <laughs> Guess we gotta order two to make up for it now. That's right. Italian meatball soup, the lobster tail, and two desserts because I'm on vacation. Chocolate melting cake and creme brulee. How could I resist? And Martin, in total, he got uh, spaghetti carbonara as his appetizer. It was originally an entree, but they made an exception. <laughs> lobster tail for the entree, and then he got the creme brulee as well. Let's give this a try because this looks fantastic. Mm. Whoa. That's good. We got a lot of shows to attend tonight. What's the first? The first one, we're coming to the punchliner to hear some comedy. Oh yeah, we're ready to crack up. Martin already saw this guy the other night. I didn't get to see him, so. He's very good. He's a Latino. I think he's from Colombia and Jorge slash Solano. Texas. Yeah. After this, the plan is going to a show. Two. Two more for tonight. Two more for tonight. <laughs> so, but we'll see what happens. And also, we're planning to go uh, to watch the Latin band, but everything can change. Yeah, everything can change. We'll see. Comedy was hilarious. We couldn't record it though because of coffee, right? But that but guy was so funny. And um, funny enough, our schedule has shortened a little bit. We yes. only have one other show to do now because it turns out the show in the main theater we already saw the first night. That's right, so we came over here in the middle of a ship to watch another show. Yeah, it's celebrating like cultures from around the world. Um, we'll see how it is. The show was great, but now we have to close the night and we're going to close it as we used to when we used to work on the ships. We're going to the Latin band to use some dancing.
guys enjoy coming with us in his sea day. Yeah, the carnival celebration is a ton of fun. We've been enjoying it all week. And let us know down below if you're planning to go on this cruise ship or if you're just watching for fun. And also, whenever you go to a cruise ship, what do you like to do? What is oh, your favorite activity? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. People get real defensive over what the best thing to do on a cruise ship is. So let us know in the comments. In the meantime, we're going to keep enjoying the cruise. So long. Travel well. And make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.